Hello, hello, hello. I think I'm live. I'm on the iPad right now, so that's why it's a little bit wobbly. Um, good to see everybody. I uh, hope you're all doing really well out there. I'm not doing too, too bad. Uh, been keeping busy with a lot of stuff over the past couple of weeks. And um, yeah, obviously I haven't been doing any YouTube or anything like that. I have my plans kind of starting to get set in motion now to, uh, to get back to things properly and all that. Sorry about the super close view, by the way. Um, right, so uh, Alan Killian said, Little Chilito's bond appeal on the calendar for tomorrow has already been denied by the N Nevada Appeals Court with no hearing. Uh, decided based on the defense filings, Chilito's $20,000 lawyer lost. God damn. Um, oh, shit. I accidentally... Oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong thing and I accidentally banned Alan. Sorry about that, Alan. I'll have to undo that on the um I'll have to undo that on the computer. Uh good to see you, Paul. And Lindy Lou. Uh sorry to hear about the uh the injury you picked up there. Um Nan, yeah, not doing too bad at all. Not doing too bad at all. Getting there day by day. Everything's Going pretty good right now, so um feeling much, much better, to be honest with you. Um, Knight of Northern Ireland in the house for two bucks says, TTU Lanov, Gerv Mila Margaret. Thank you so much indeed, my friend. Really appreciate that. So, yeah, I've been keeping busy with, with all this stuff. Um, i got a bit of a project going on the side at the moment, so uh, working hard on that. Um uh yeah empire rats not doing too bad at all not doing too bad i've uh, been kind of concentrating on other stuff for the past couple of weeks just trying to get myself kind of up and running again and feeling a bit better and all that kind of stuff but uh oh yeah i miss you guys too absolutely uh john good to see you says bloody hell mate it's uh it's what is it 20 to 1 in the morning there I'm supposed to be in bed. I have work in the morning, but you have been missed. Thank you so much indeed. Daryl M's in the house. Good to see Daryl and Large Marge. I saw you were the first one in the house. Uh, did you use the doggy soap on the fur babies? I absolutely did, and it's lovely. And I used the lemon one on myself. I absolutely love that. Good to see you, Chris. Hope you're doing really well. And George Daly in the house. Good to see you. Um, good to see you now more. Kyoko, good to see you watching from California. Eh? Chili, don't stop losing. Absolutely right. So, yeah, I, as I said, I've been concentrating on a few other things, not work related. Um, so, I've been kind of just taking it easy a little bit and, you know, working on myself and working on my physical and mental health and all that kind of stuff. Chloe's been quite sick for the past week. Like, actually really sick um she's yeah she's in bed right now she's she's been in bed quite a bit uh over the past couple of weeks so that's been rough that's been a tough road um you know especially with everything else going on but i suppose at the same time it also gave me something else to focus on which has been which has been really good uh neither not the fact that she's sick obviously just um yeah she's she's not doing too great like she's fine like she'll be fine She's get she's getting better every day, but um, yeah, it's been a bloody rough week for her. So give us a big shout out in the side chat for the beautiful Chloe. She's uh, she's a trooper. That's for damn sure. Knight of Northern Ireland for two bucks says, "Hey, Chili, Pogue Mahone." For the non-Irish speakers of you out there, that means kiss my ass. Bridge to the Vite, good to see you, buddy. Um, I was thinking about you today for some reason. Something came. Something came up earlier, and it reminded me of you, and I said it to Chloe, but I can't remember what it was. I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it was. Actually, one thing that has been good about taking a bit of a break to you know, work on myself and stuff like that has been being able to uh, get back in touch with some of my hobbies outside of YouTube, because I think for a while there, I was kind of living for YouTube as well, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I saw that, Alana. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, I, I may have been yourself, said that up above that he's still e begging for the appeal bond. Well, he's got to pay for that lawyer, doesn't he? Um, 
Oh, the bike's doing great. I haven't had a chance to get out on it a whole lot. I've had a few nice spins on it, but I haven't gotten out on it a whole lot because the weather's been absolutely terrible here. It's been so rainy. I got a new exhaust for the bike, so that's another thing to keep me busy tomorrow. And that's kind of how my days have been for the past couple of weeks, just finding things to stay occupied with and to, you know, be positive with. And that's been, that's been a great way of doing it. Rod Vickery, my adopted grandfather, good to see you, buddy. We had a great chat uh, on the phone again the other day. It was fantastic. Um, let me see here now. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't know Dan was live. I've actually not really been in touch with anything on YouTube at all. Um, it's Yeah, it's just a case of just not distancing myself or shutting myself off just literally taking a brain break i think has been what a lot of it is and you know some days have been good some days have been bad some days have been great um let me see here now luke uh yeah i didn't know dan was live sorry about that then um constitutional power ranger come back after a month off with an old content let's get this grift going how's that a grift exactly me popping in to say hello um i haven't put up content in over a month because i've been very unwell and been working on myself and getting better so if that's a grift then cool story bro uh lindy lou thank you so much for the two aussie dollars says get well soon chloe hope she does she i know she's getting there she's doing really really well um thank you so much large marge i really appreciate that jd horror sorry to hear that my friend i hope things start getting better <laughs> john monin says isn't it a bit late in the afternoon uh for morning sickness nudge nudge wink wink no, not that kind of sick. Not yet, anyway. Um, so anyway, the the other things that I've been kind of working on, uh, I've been looking into some other projects, YouTube-related projects, um, and I wanted to get your opinion on this. I Chloe is a gifted writer, believe it or not. It's something that she's only just gotten into doing she reads a lot of books like she reads multiple books a day kind of thing like she's always reading so i kind of knew that she would be a naturally good writer and she's been writing stories and they're fantastic so one thing um one thing that she loves uh when she's going to sleep is to play like they're well, the, the wrong term would be adult but you know what i mean they're nighttime stories for adults but like you know, soft music and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Chloe for the win, absolutely. And basically, she was saying for me to read them, so like to voice act them, uh, and for her to write them and put it up as a as a new channel. And that's something I'm definitely, definitely looking at doing. Um, Knight of Northern Ireland for two bucks says, for the non-intimate begging for money grift. Thank you so much indeed. I do, I do, I do. But uh, that's just me. What can I say? Karu says, we missed you out here on the Canadian West Coast. Thank you so much indeed. It actually says Canadian Wet Coast. I suppose that's probably true too. Um, so the other thing I've been, been doing to keep busy, basically, you know, the bike and a few other things and bits and pieces that I've been kind of keeping myself occupied with. Um, we recently got a cottage not this one um it's a dilapidated stone cottage basically uh needs a complete restoration it's going to take a couple of years and a lot of money but it's going to be it's going to be phenomenal so we've also been talking about um doing a channel where we do up this cottage it's about 200 years old so it's not as old as this cottage but it's very very pretty it's very cute so hopefully we'll be getting the keys at the end of this week all going to plan and we have an epic plan for the place. Uh, and it's not just the two of us either, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to get that going. The other thing that I've been working on is my fish. So you guys who've been
been with the channel for a while um, will know that I was an avid fish keeper uh, when I lived in Australia. And since I came home, I've always had a few, mostly shrimp, but um, I've gotten back into the hobby in a big way. So I got some koi and stuff outside. I've got lots of shrimp. I've got bettas, guppies, all that stuff. I'll show you some in a minute. And um, so I've really jumped into that in a big way. And that's been incredibly relaxing and something that I really, really enjoy. And something that, you know, myself and Chloe have bonded over massively because she didn't realize that she also loves keeping fish. And she was so excited getting into it. She probably thought it was boring before I started actually getting the fish tanks and stuff set up here and um and now she loves it and that's that's great for me i love that because i'm passionate about it always have been um so now we're actually breeding a pair of bettas at the moment i've bred thousands of bettas in my day um but yeah so we have a breeding pair getting ready to go there we have another one over there and i've got a few tanks set up around the place so i'll show you those here in a minute um so yeah, what, what I'm planning on doing is while I'm doing up the, the cottage, we, we have an engineer going out there this week. So the hope is that it's structurally sound. Um, if it is structurally sound, then I'm going to get to work on it myself as quickly as I can. And if it's not structurally sound, then we might have to come up with a different plan and maybe go down the route of setting up a cabin or something like that and working from there. One thing I can tell you for sure, there's going to be an epic pond. There's going to be lots of animals. That's, as you guys know, we love animals. So there's going to be a lot of animals. That's just the way it's going to be. <clears throat> I did drag Chloe out of the pet shop today uh, to stop her from buying a fucking bunny rabbit. I was like, we are infested with bunny rabbits here as it is. So Daryl M says, "Get a, got a better variety of shrimp over there than in Australia. Yes. Yes, we do really, in fairness. Western Australia has some of the strictest animal import laws in the world. Um, like the certain cats you can't get there. But when it comes to fish, it's, uh, it's really difficult to get anything decent. One thing that you can definitely get in Australia that's much higher quality than here is bettas or Siamese fighting fish, whatever you want to call them. Um, and yeah, the, the quality of those is spectacular over there. I've got some beautiful ones here that I ordered in. Um, but the shrimp here, you can get phenomenal shrimp. You can get all of them. Uh, are you going to send Chili a better? I think now he needs a lot more than a second better, truth be told. Bobby Williams, great to see you, my dear. I hope you're well. Uh, sorry about the shitty camera quality, though. But is, is it, can, I, can I turn my camera around on this? Um... Damn it, I was kind of hoping I could. Now, I've just done a bit of a clean-up on these tanks today, so excuse the mess. I wish I could zoom in a bit. Where's the fucking camera? Oh, yeah. So this is my main shrimp tank. You see, there's a... Oh, yeah, fucker. It's like trying to do it back to front in a mirror, basically. So that's my main shrimp tank. Um this is it looks pretty ugly right now it's a bit messy oh my god what the fuck so that's my big male better right there it's actually chloe's better that is colby and the little girl is inside the uh separator thing the divider whatever you want to call it um now you're not going to really be able to see this guy because there's no light on this tank just now actually hold on I can put my phone light on, that might. Uh, give me one sec. Here we go. Ah, damn it, the reflection. So this is my little, ah, you fucker. I'm trying to do it backwards and up, upside down. This way? Can you guys see him? Fucking hell. There we go. So that's my boy. Uh, his name is Roger. Because his girlfriend is called Jolly. But she's a candy koi. She's called Jolly after Jolly Ranchers, which happens to be Chloe's favorite sweetie. Um, and now I'm going to just show you. This is 
oh, fuck me. I'm trying to remember what way around this bastard goes. Just excuse the mess because uh, I've been feeding them and changing things around in the tank over the past couple of hours. Uh, this is my favorite tank, even though it's probably got my least favorite fish in it, but it is by far my favorite tank. Um, so, ah, uh, that way. It's my planted tank. Uh, it does not do it justice. So that's uh, that motherfucker. I nearly fell there. That's uh, Jolly. That's my female fucking hell. My female can be better. Yeah, the lights kind of wash it out a bit, but like, it's very pretty. There's Crebensis cichlids in there somewhere, hiding out somewhere. And there's loads of shrimp and stuff. Clean up crew in there. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things I've been doing to kind of keep busy. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to get back into the fish hobby because as I say, I've been kind of away from it properly for quite a while. So it is lovely to get back to it. Um, all right. Well, if it's dumb, there's a really cool thing you can do. It's called fucking off and go watch something else. How about that one? Uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's good to get back to this kind of thing. And, and you know, it's something I recommend for people. If you are struggling or going through a tough time or just not feeling great, just try to reconnect with something that you used to love. And that's exactly what I've done uh, with this whole thing. And uh, feels good. Feels good to be back kind of hard at it again. Luke wants to visit Ireland again. Ireland is lovely. It's, it's a tremendous country. I love it here. Uh, it needs a bit of work. It needs a bit of fucking work. But it's, it's good. It is really, really good. And it's beautiful. It's fucking rainy though, man. It's, it's been pissing rain here non-stop every fucking day uh is it actually legal binding legally binding to have a castle in at least one of your fish tanks i personally i prefer riverscapes and rockscapes that kind of thing i love that kind of more natural looking chloe doesn't know what she wants yet she wanted pink gravel in her tank uh, I vetoed that because it would look shit. <laughs> That's, I vetoed that one. I was like, you're going to have that, but you're not putting it anywhere near my fucking tanks in case anybody thinks it's mine. I also have a humongous tank out the front garden as well. Um, Lure Aquatics, how well you remember that. Holy shit. Yeah, I need to get back to doing that, actually. I have been filming a little bit. Um, I use a mixture actually of three different things in the tanks with the dark bottom. I use aqua soil for the plants. Um, then I have those bio ball, I think they're called. They're kind of for shrimp, you know, little black ball thingies. And then I have uh, black sand over the top of that then. Keeps it all down but allows the nutrients to get through. So, So anyway, yeah. Um, it has been really cool to get back to it. And once the cottage is up and running to the point where I, where I can be there every day and to, you know, when it gets to the point where we can actually live there, we're going to get chickens, quail. She wants a little horse, goats. There's a nice little bit of land there. So there's plenty of room for everything. Um, and she wants to get a big guard dog. I was like, I don't really do guard dogs. Dogs are pets as far as I'm concerned. Danger aware, I absolutely did. And I had a quick look inside it. Uh, it's been a hectic week and a half for me. So I haven't gotten around to um, to actually being able to display it. But I will go through the box maybe tomorrow night. I might do a live stream and go through the box uh, for sure. Demon Sister, formerly Read the Room, says, going to show Pixel College. I will do when I have, the, when I have my lap, because I'm just on my iPad right now. So I've got no way of bringing them up. But when I have um, my laptop and stuff tomorrow, yeah, I can definitely show some pictures of it. That'd be really cool. Bobby Williams, thank you so much indeed. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. Uh, I used up all my energy sitting up and typing for the night. Good to see you, Demon. Stop being a bitch. Everyone else, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much, Colin. Um, your CEO has a miniature horse. I love those, man. 
they're they're so cute like they really are um i'm kind of up to date on chili i actually got a couple of emails from people who were like uh even though it's like a month or however long it's been since he was crying in court i did see it i did watch it um but people were like even though it's been a month will you still cover it what do you guys think if you guys think i should cover it i will if it's fun if you guys want me to do that i'll do that tomorrow for sure i didn't see it because apparently it was too cloudy for it it was on while i was on the road and i didn't even know what was going on so <laughs> that'll tell you um but what do you guys think of chili sentence like i know people for the most part don't like chili <sighs> I thought for what he did, I thought it was a little bit, a little bit heavy handed, but it's not like he didn't have it coming. You know what I'm saying? But we can cover all that tomorrow for sure. Um, what we might do, we'll do a bit of a breakdown maybe. We'll cover some of that and... Um, yeah, we'll cover some of that. We'll have a look back at the footage and have a laugh at it, basically. It'll be a bit of fun. Uh, you have D&D tonight. What's D&D? Dumb and Dumber? You're going watching Dumb and Dumber, the movie? Hmm. Went to Ohio to see what? What did I miss? Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons to me sounds like um like a nerdy BDSM place. I have to say it was fun watching Chili Grind Court. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Chicago World Girl works at the, the jail he's in, in Vegas. No shit. Oh, the eclipse, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons and Diners and Dine-Ins and Drives. <laughs> yeah, I got the impression it was kind of a fake cry too, to be honest with you. It's basically an early video. See, I knew it. I knew it. Um... Ah, uh, you too, Susan. Good to see ya. To see here now. Anything else been going on? Have I missed anything else interesting? Uh, his sad face, terrible acting. Forgive me. Uh, I have another trial for my stupidity, my lord, your honor. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cringe. Why are you still watching it then, Constitutional Power Ranger? I don't understand. Do you know, you're the kind of arsehole that throws a stick into the spokes of his own bicycle and then fucking blames somebody else. If you don't like this, again, you are more than welcome to fuck off. There's nobody stopping you. There's many offs to be fucked and you could start, basically. Get the ball rolling. Um, let me see here now okay so i didn't actually hear the phone calls yet so maybe i'll listen to those as well tomorrow we'll make a night of it actually if chloe's feeling better tomorrow she might want to drop in oh that's really cool i'll be well up for that <laughs> rod says it must be past his bedtime exactly fuck's sake can you imagine going it like it's like if you went to a restaurant right and the food was crap and it gave you the shits. <clears throat> and you come out and you're like, the fucking food is terrible. It's like, why? hold on, you're going back in there? Why? Yeah, well, I'm going to go in there so I can eat and then complain about it. Of all of the millions and millions and millions of hours of stuff that you could be watching on YouTube, you choose to be here whinging. Those phone calls are too long and boring asking for money. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. If there's any good bits in it, people can let me know and I can just skip on to that. Um, 
Yeah, I couldn't see an appeal going through, to be honest. Like, it would set a it set a bad precedent, I'd imagine. Crying is fun. Okay, we'll have a look at it then. We'll have a look at it. I think it might be a bit of fun to have a look at, wouldn't it? Have to listen to the call about pooping. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What call about pooping? I'd watch the shit out of that if you excuse the excuse the pun um i would do it tonight but it's just too late i had so much to do today oh yeah so we went for a spin today i had to drop some bike parts down to my friend he bought a motorcycle off me a while back and i had to drop some parts down to him today down in county waterford and i anytime i see a pet shop i always kind of go in basically i, I go in to see what fish they have for the most part and all the pet shops either didn't have fish, had really shitty fish, or the fish were sick and they weren't for sale. And um, yeah, I went into one of them. I was chatting to the guy in there. I was like, is there anywhere around that like sells good fish? And he mentioned this, uh, this uh, what you call it, a garden center. And I was like, ugh. Usually garden centers just have like some goldfish and that's it. So we went in, this awesome garden center, went in and straight away went to the back where the fish are. And it was like about eight or nine tanks. I was like, ooh, very nice. And then Chloe was like, oh my God, you are going to shit. I was like, what, babe? Turn around. I'm not fucking kidding. The biggest fish room I've ever seen. They had everything there. It was absolutely spectacular. Like, oh, it's fucking amazing. I could have just stayed there all day. Actually, it kind of did. So that's why I was home so late tonight. So I was like, fuck it. I'll, I'll do a quick live stream now. Just catch up. And um, and I'll do a proper one tomorrow. I think it'll be a bit of fun. And Chloe might join me if she's feeling up to it. And I want to say a huge thank you as well to everybody who's reached out over the past few weeks. And sorry if I haven't gotten back to people. It's not been easy. I've kind of been like leaving my phone at home and going out fishing for the day on my own with no phone, you know what I mean? And I haven't been keeping up to date with things. And to be honest, that's somewhat by design as well. But I, I do see your messages and I do thank you for them. I really do. Constitutional Power Ranger, his appeal will go through, then he will win a lawsuit. You can't hold someone in jail for hurting your feelings. Chile is about to get paid. Well, we'll have a look, won't we? We'll see. We'll see. And how he described being searched when he went into jail, he made it sound sexual. I might have to have fun with those recordings, old school style, the way I, like, the way I used to. Um, I love the close-up on your handsome face. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Chili ain't getting out. Yeah, I, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Would it be nice if you could just give us a nod? Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I totally get that. That's absolutely right. Uh, did you have a look at Share? I briefly did. I'm not 100% sure. I don't un I don't fully understand what it's all about, to be honest. The guy in the video is a little bit hard. Not, not that he was hard to understand verbally. I just didn't quite get the gist of what was going on. But if you can send me a message and, and let me know, if you can give me an, an idea of what actually is happening, and if I can go and help him and talk to him, I will most certainly do that. Absolutely. Still working on the studio. My studio looks like a fucking bomb hit it and then somebody left a bull loose in there because we've been clearing out a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore out of the house and stuff like that. And most things just get dumped into my studio as always. So it's in shit. So I'll do the live stream here on the couch tomorrow because my studio is not in a condition to live stream. Oh, we'll have to see about that. We'll have to see about that. Johnny O says, I'm still afraid. I would love to actually do that. I really would. I think, it, it, I think it'd be really good for me at the moment to do uh, a live stream with dad jokes. But um, what else have I been doing? Been listening to a lot of history documentaries and stuff like that as well. Actually, uh, I read a book the other day about, uh, about how the Titanic was put together. It was riveting. 
I'm off to a fucking blinding start here. Casey Cooper's been a member for 18 months. It says a slant of Don Dimoni. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, I love dad jokes. I think they're amazing. Um, Johnny O's beard is shorter now. Fuck out of here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> I did forget that to that person. Oh, I was thinking about you today. Um, when Lucy was here, when I went down to get the bike, herself and Chloe had to drive the car back because I was on the bike. And Waterford's a lovely city, right? Waterfordonians out there. However, it's a fucking nightmare, the traffic. it's. Then again, it's... A, City that was built by the Vikings, so they didn't really account for all these extra vehicles. Well, any fucking vehicles, actually. Think about it. Um, and it was just like that today. It was so busy, and it wasn't even that late. It was about three o'clock. It was so busy, and my son and Chloe almost in tandem looked at each other and were like Lucy. She would fucking hate this so much right now. Uh, it is the place with all the art in the buildings. It is lovely. My mom's family are from Tremor. No way. I was actually in Tremor today. The, the garden center place that I went to to get the fish was just up the road from Tremor, about 10 minutes away. Waterford, all I know is Crystal. Funnily enough, um, one of my mates was one of the founders. Not one of the founders there. He has his own company. He makes the, he made, you know, the bowls of shamrock that the Irish president gives to the American president every year. He actually makes those himself by hand, which is pretty cool. Um, take care, Mr. Andrak. Great to see you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Give me one second. Huh? Want to visit Giants Causeway once again? I think I told you guys about the time that I went to the Giants Causeway with all the boys on the bikes, right? We rode all the way from Cork down here in the south up to about... <laughs> about a half an hour from the Giants Causeway and we went on the beer uh, on the Friday night and then we we had decided we were all going to get up at eight o'clock in the morning and ride out to the Giants Causeway beautiful sunny morning so we rode out there and then uh, when we got there we realized that it was about a half an hour walk from the car park down to the actual stones and uh, we were all way too hungover, so we had lunch and fucked off instead. So, although my dad said I didn't miss much, to be honest, he wasn't impressed, and he loves that kind of shit. I don't think my mom even went. That's just not her kind of jibe at all, at all. So, yeah, for my dad to say that it wasn't very impressive, it must not have been too impressive. But then again, each to their own, I suppose. Um, I've not been to Waterford since the 80s. Very different place now. Very different place now. Uh, but anyway, lads and lassies, it's been great to catch up. It, it gives me a huge boost to... Ow! I just fucking scratched my head there. Ow! What was that? A bit of sand or something. Still still pretending to write. Is there anything you say that's honest? If you want to know, do I still... Or if you want to know, do I write? All you have to do is ask your mom. All right. Um, good to see you too, Beasy. I'll, I'll, I'll actually, I will definitely be live again tomorrow. I will definitely be live again tomorrow. We'll have a look at those phone calls. Even though I'm sure it's been done to that, I don't know though. I don't know who's covering it. Honestly, I don't. Because I just haven't been watching any of this portion of YouTube. Been watching a lot of um, fish videos and house renovation videos and that's it been taking it really 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 easy oh, i spare no man or woman i spare children when it comes to roasting them but 
They only get one chance, and then that's it. You're done. What is my... Uh, let me see here now. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's what a lot of people kind of were saying as well, you know? Chloe just messaged me. Hold on. She's in the other room, right? Still, she's really... She is quite unwell. She's a little trooper. I wanna, I'm going to... If she's well enough tomorrow, I'm going to take her for a nice lunch. And she she wants to get her nails done tomorrow. Or, sorry, she wants to get her nails done. So if she's feeling up to it tomorrow, I'm going to take her to get her nails done and get lunch. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> she just messaged me at quarter past 12 at night. Okay? Is it too late to have a salad? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to voice record my response so you all can hear it. Hello, darling, in the other room. To answer your question, is it too late to have a salad? The simple answer is no. It is not too late to have a salad. However, it does mean that I'm going to have to make the salad after midnight. In order for me to do that, you know what we went through the last time, which was... I was like, oh, you know, it's great. You just chop up all this stuff, put it in a bowl, and bam, there you go. Took me about a fucking hour by the time I had everything caught up. So, in some respects, it is a bit too late for a salad. Keith Newton says it all. It's always too late for a salad. No great story started with. So we were all there having a salad. Fuck out of here. I do like salad though. I got to be honest with you. Fruit salad, as in the candy fruit salad. Um. <coughs> Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Simone says, uh, hugs to you and Chloe. I hope she's better soon. Also, how's Mammy Demon? She's doing really, really well. Actually, we were up the country last week. Um, we went up to visit. Chloe's uncle's quite unwell in hospital at the moment. So we went up to visit him. And this is just some random fucking town, like, not near where I live. And... Um, just pulled up, so we just got to see him, and Chloe wanted to go in and get a bathrobe and stuff, because she was starting to feel sick, I knew, I knew she was starting to feel sick when she wanted new slippers and a bathrobe, I knew it, so I was like, okay, let's go do that then, are you okay, she was like, no, I'm fine, she's a fucking trooper, and, um, where was I going with this, oh yeah, so pulled in the car, I just spotted this handsome dark-skinned gray-haired man walking towards me i was like that's my fucking dad i was like what's he doing here so chloe was like nah nah that's not him and then he walked past us we were like yep it's my dad so chloe ran down and got him he came back it turns out my mom was in the shop next door so i snuck in behind her in the shop grabbed her by the arm i was like put that down missus and she turned around yeah fucking idiot it was so funny uh, Keith Newton says, do you put tomatoes, or tomatoes as we call them, in your fruit salad? They say knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing to not put one in a fruit salad. Chloe just sent me a voice note. I understand where you're coming from and where you were kind of going with it. But if you just do some crispy bacon in the air fryer, iceberg lettuce... A little bit of parmesan. There's already a garlic and parmesan dressing. Um, cucumber, tomato, tomato, etc. Et Such culty tomato. Okay, so you want me to cook crispy bacon? That's fine. Uh, I have to cut up lettuce, cucumber, tomato. Uh, ah, yeah, no, that, that doesn't sound too bad. I think because you're the greatest, I will indeed make you a fucking salad. A fucking salad. She even sounds sick on the phone, God love her. Uh, Colin says, the important question is, mayo or butter on your grilled cheese? Never mind the salad. Absolutely mayonnaise, right? So a lot of people will put butter, uh, or she would call it butter, on the outside of your sandwich when you're making a toasty, as we call them, or grill, like toasted cheese, we call them, as opposed to a grilled cheese. And then you put that on your grill and away you go, not on your grill, on your fucking frying pan, whatever you call it, skillet, whatever. Um, 
if you've never tried it with just putting mayonnaise on the outside, try it. It is game changing. As Susan Ocasio said, is she pregnant? <laughs> no, not that I'm aware of. I fucking well hope not. You'd have to be able, you'd have to be having sex for that. Um, no, no, no. I don't believe she is. I don't believe she is. I think she's just a normal sick. Although, hold on. Hold on. Um, Susan is wondering if you're pregnant. Um, she makes a very valid point here. Okay? And... I don't know. It's just because of all of the random cravings you've been having the past couple of days, actually. Like, really random and at weird times. Now, I'm putting it down to you just being sick. But is it a possibility and should we check? Hey, you know that while you're doing that, I can also hear myself in the background and I can't hear a fucking word you're saying, just so you know. Also, maybe an unpopular opinion as I just, <laughs> this sounds terrible, but I, I like grease on my food. She does like greasy food, in fairness. Um, is she being a diva? She's always been a diva. Hold on. Do you might be onto something there, Donna. Uh, real quick. Uh, Donna During uh, says, I'd be more suspicious if she was asking for pickles in the salad. Interesting. Because... Chloe very rarely has pickles. In fact, sometimes she takes them out of her burgers. But the other day while we were shopping for all of these salad items, which cost a fucking fortune, by the way, she did come up to me with a jar of pickles that she demanded I buy. Now, I love pickles, so there's no question there. I'm going to eat pickle. I love pickle lily especially. Uh, and sports peppers. Or, uh, no, Jardiner. Oh, fuck me. That's amazing. Too spicy, but amazing. So, yeah, what's with the pickles? Yes, yes, I, um, I gathered this after the fact. But, yeah, I was saying that the trick is to cook it in butter, but have mayo spread on the outside. Also, I'm eternally grateful for the future salad. The <laughs> future salad. <laughs> um... Yeah, we might need to check that. What type of pickle? Do you know what? That's a great question. I'm going to check. So there was a pickle. Any strains watching will know exactly what I'm talking about here. There's a type of pickle that you could get in Australia, and I have not, sorry, I haven't seen it for sale here. And it, they're called um, bread and butter pickles, right? All right. These are just crinkle cut gherkins. Let's do a taste test. See what we think. Hmm. Pretty sweet. Pretty fucking sweet. I mean, there's so many things that make a pickle great. Like the saltiness, the vinegariness, but you can't beat the dill, though. Bread and butter pickles are amazing. I love them. I love them. They do. They're really sweet. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, let's see if Chloe message back. And then I got to get out of here because it's getting super late. She just opened it, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, you, you have them in the US? Okay, cool. Um, uh, Script Cat, you got that joke, right? You got that joke. I like that. Garlic pickles, I've not had those now. Maureen O'Keefe says, try the spicy ones. I love them. Um, Jared and Air from Chicago over by there. Absolutely gorgeous. The flavor is just spectacular. 
Uh, all right, let's see what this person is saying. Maureen O'Keefe, that's a lovely Irish name. I would love when we go to America to try, you know, those giant pickles, like the spicy. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say, tell me I'm wrong, but it did it not sound like she just said, when I go to America, I would love to try anal. All right, I'm sorry, that's a bit out there, but like... I would love when we go to America to try, you know, those... I'm sorry, like, that really did sound like that's what she said. Giant, I would love when we go to America to try, you know, those giant pickles, like the spicy giant pickles that come in a little, sounds weird, but they come in a little sack with the water in it. I don't know how to describe that, but... Oh, I know those ones. Yeah, Jane, you heard it too, right? Okay, once more. I would love when we go to America to try, you know, those giant... Right? Hold on, what's with all this pickle shit lately? Hold on, I gotta go fucking figure this shit out. <clears throat> this is new, man. She never, she was never into pickles before. Excuse me. What's, what's with all the pickle stuff? This is new. I don't like it. What, in the space of a week? <laughs> You've been craving salt. Have you been? What else have you been craving? Sugar. Well, you always crave sugar and grease, so that's nothing new. <laughs> What's with the pickles, man? I don't know, man. It's there's too many things are starting to add up here. <laughs> there's the pickles. There's the wanting fluffy little animals in the pet shop. The obsession with the cute fish having babies. I don't know, man. Or is it just because you're sick? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Ice cream and pickles. And chocolate, actually. You've been really craving chocolate, which is unusual for you because you're not a big chocolate head. No, I'm more cheese than chocolate yeah yeah kim's watching from uh wisconsin good at wisconsin and shannon witter is watching from minnesota mm. oh. Wait, there's a specific accent to minnesota isn't there there's the one i just did man it's probably really bad though minnesota oh hey so that kind of yeah i get what you're going for but it's just like irish don't go fuck yourself. Were you a voice actor? Anyway, so I don't know about that one. We might have to, might have to look into that one. Chocolate shake with bananas. Nice. Susan's in Georgia, Oregon, Denver. That's in Colorado, right? Feel better, Chloe from Virginia. Do you like my roof lights? My what? Are, what are the skylights? Definitely gonna have those in the new cottage. Um, it is a two-story cottage, which is nice. South Carolina. Where else are people watching from? <laughs> Night noodler. Louisiana. Very nice. Demon Sister says, watching Chloe eat is a performance in itself. Oh, my God. It's... It is quite something. It is quite fucking something. Arkansas, Michigan, Washington, Missouri, uh, New York City, North Carolina, Ohio, Canada, Canada again, Portland, Oregon, Texas. I like what you did with your name there. Barb B. Very clever. I like that. I like that a lot. Delaware. Daisy May. Good to see. Manchester, thought you're going to make a salad for the lovely. Co I'm going to go make her a salad in a minute. Hershey's syrup, uh, Hershey's syrup on a dill pickle. What are you crazy? Nova Scotia, Canada, home of the trailer park boys. 
It said told us all. What it told us all. I fucking have told us so. Um, Maryland, lovely. Um, deep fried pickle. I actually had that with JL Warren, I think it was. Yes, it was. Cheese and jam. Chili jam with cheese, yes. Regular jam? No. No, 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 no. Hell no. Uh, but deep fried pickle is lovely. Yeah, I think it was in Texas I had that. And what else did I have? Alligator, I think, there as well. And crawfish. I actually have a crawfish, a crayfish. Caviar and crackers is fucking amazing. Myself and Lucy, one night when Chloe was sick, when we were in London, we had uh, caviar and cheese. It was amazing. Curry fried fish and white rice was my favorite when I lived in Germany. Curry fried fish I've had. Uh, white rice. I've never heard of that. No, I'm kidding. Um, a good hard cheese with fig jam. Absolutely. fucking lutely. I make fig jam every year. We have a fig tree out there. Um, and I love making um, sweet and spicy red onion jam. It's one of my favorites. Um, champagne and caviar. Hell yes. Balling. Anyway, lads and lassies, I got to get out of here because it's getting super late. And uh, the woman wants her fucking salad. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It'll be a bit of fun to catch up and do some funny shit and have a laugh and a joke and all that good stuff. Uh, I am getting hungry now too, actually. I haven't had anything yet today. Should try bacon jam. I actually have a beautiful bacon seasoning that uh, Lucy sent over, so I might give that a go. Um, anyway, okay, I gotta go toss that salad. Wait, no, no, no. Anyway, folks, thank you so much. We'll talk to you all soon. Slancha. Good night.